Scorpio. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Um, let's do your courage spread. All right. If you guys are new, welcome. Okay. If you don't know what the courage spread is, it's we'll take a look at um, where you've been, where you want to be, and what you need to do to get there. Typically, it takes courage to get to that place. And so that's why we refer to it as the courage spread. All right. So let's see for Scorpio, please. I do feel like... Um, you guys need to make a decision, all right? And it's like things are at a standstill until you make a decision, okay? It's, it's, it's your responsibility. I'm also hearing bedtime stories, so maybe it has to do with your children or um, something to do with like what when you're when you're sleeping, perhaps you're, you're um, channeling in your sleep or you're receiving messages when you sleep, all right? But but I feel like you you are the soul. Um, you are solely responsible for making this decision, whatever it is, and it, um, I, I, you, you're thinking deep about this, but everything's at a standstill until, until you decide, okay? Some of you may feel as though um, what's being asked of you or, or what, what one of the options are is, is out of your wheelhouse or is something that doesn't align with you, something that you don't totally agree with, okay? I don't, I don't think it's on the, on, the, um, on the end of like being illegal. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, the fool. But um, it's like this kind of goes against what I believe in or what I what I would agree with, okay? So you're like doing an assessment of self kinda to figure out what's gonna be best here, okay? Um, I mean, and it could just have to do with commitment, all right? All right, so where you've been, yeah, the oracle, right? The high, that's the high priestess, so your intuition, okay, your intuition, yeah, okay, you guys are receiving intuitive messages. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well. All right, but I feel like you're 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 searching, you're searching through, you're sifting through the unknown to bring it to the forefront and figure out what's what's best for me, what's 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 what am I supposed to do here at this point in my life? All right, whatever this is is destined. Okay, I feel like this is destined. I mean, it's destiny, and 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 when destiny comes around, it's like, you know it's not up to you anymore at that point you ha you you definitely have a decision to make okay it's heavy I, I can feel that it's heavy I feel like there's some temptation here as well okay there's there's some kind of temp yeah there's there's temptation maybe to do something illegal or do something against what you normally would do all right all right I feel like you guys are wanting to get out of this there's some kind of time crunch though okay yeah you need to make a decision <clears throat> all right we'll clarify that all right, where you want to be, the Six of Cups. Six of Cups and the High Priestess are very similar energies, okay? They are. But the Six of Cups, okay. What is this? I'm hearing I want my family back. Jeez. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, what you need to do to get there, the hangman, look at all this water energy. We ain't, we, we are not even like, a qu are we a quarter of the way in? I don't know how far we're in, child, but that six of cups got me. <laughs> All right, so you could be dealing with the Pisces, but you have a lot of water energy here, and a lot, of, a lot of Neptunian energy here, a lot of, a lot of spiritual energy here. Okay, that's that's not um, um, something to um, take lightly, take for granted, or pretend as though it doesn't exist. You, you, you are in this energy of like deep diving into um, what do I want? What do I want? And it's like beyond something feels um I don't know, like like you'd have to go beyond what's actually possible. Alright, what is this high priestess, please? <sighs> Jeez, King of Cups. That's you, okay. Alright, what is this? What is what's the oracle?
your, your, your your intuition you need to you need to trust where you're being led intuitively i feel like you guys already are it's leading you in a particular place okay Mm, okay, Eight of Pentacles. There's a full card again. Okay, so Aries energy. Ace of Cups, right? It's leading you, it's leading you to this Six of Cups that you want. Your intuition is, okay, and the Queen of Wands is here. But it's it's risky. Okay, it's risky. It feels risky. Like like you you would have to do something that you wouldn't normally do or that you wouldn't normally agree to do. What is it? Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Seven of Swords. Yeah, and the Ace of Swords. I feel like you've already come to this conclusion, but again, it's not totally like like it's not, this isn't this isn't what I asked for. Like what the hell? I don't want to do that. <laughs> but it's gonna get you where you want to be. <laughs> Like what? Six of yeah, the six of cups is right here. King and Queen of Swords. Alright. Seven of Cups. Three of Wands and the Four of Wands. Yeah, timing is a significant factor here, and I feel like there's time is being wasted. Okay, I feel like time is being wasted in this situation. It, it would be so easy. I mean, from what the energy feels and just how the cards are coming out, it would be so easy to just choose this clear, direct path to... I mean, your intuition is spilling over here with the Ace of Cups. Okay, it is. It's trying to bring you exactly what it is that you want. This is a gift from the universe, right? And if you choose it, it'll literally bring you that happiness, that win that you're looking for. Okay, there's some perceived win here with the four of wands. This is an achievement. It's a foundation. It's a relationship. All right, it's happiness. It's bliss. It's freedom. Okay, freedom from waiting, freedom from building, freedom from guiding, freedom from, from having to plan and prepare and, and all of that other nonsense and, and sit in that energy of constantly being courageous, right? All of that can be done away with if, 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 if you choose this cup, but it's a risk for some reason, okay, is what you're telling me. All right, let's see what this Six of Cups is as I try not to get in my feels. <laughs> Um, Scorpio, don't forget to like this video, all right, and subscribe to the channel so that it can continue to grow and reach those who need it. <laughs> what is that pen in Spanish? Bo bo boligrafo? <laughs> Why am I hearing that? I have no idea. Okay, what's the Six of Cups? Two of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Maybe somebody speaks Spanish or another language. I don't know. Queen of Pentacles. The Star. Yeah, this is what you want. All right. Yeah, yeah. And the Lovers. Okay, I want my family back. Or I, 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 It's like you want to commit to this. Okay, you want to give to this. But... But for whatever reason, it's a risk. And maybe it's because this you're in another relationship. All right, because the lover's card is an unexpected choice in love. It is. It, it, it's It's like, all right, you, you want to be in this relationship or that relationship or a relationship at all. And, and it happens out of nowhere. You don't expect it. You're not prepared for it. Okay? You are in the position right now, though, of preparing for something because it's already presented itself to you or the opportunity's been there. You just need to be courageous. Yeah, the two of wands. Okay, it feels like a risk. It feels like a risk. Maybe that maybe this would call for you to leave one relationship and go into another one. Okay, or another phase of the same relationship. But this looks like a choice between people. If you ask me with this lover's card, what else is here? 
Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, you would you would have to. It's be, and it's because you've committed yourself to something already. Okay, that and I mean that's how it works. Yeah, the King of Pentacles is right here. So it's like wanting to walk right into a commitment. Okay, Nine of Cups, the High Priestess. This is what I want. This is what my intuition is telling me. Page of Cups, Strength card, but I need the courage for wants to step into this relationship. Okay, that's what you're wanting. Okay, well what's this hangman for what you need to do? Hangman is, is, is an energy of enlightenment, okay? And it, and it happens because we allow ourselves to go deep. I feel like you need to allow yourself to go deep. Deep deep dive into your intuition, for one, because it continues to speak to you, okay? All right, what's this hangman? King of Cups. Yeah, there you are. And the High Priestess. I mean, you're, you're being guided. You're just not listening, Okay, the wheel of the year and the four of pentacles, right? This is this, this is like I want to have my cake and eat it too. No, you can't. I don't even know why why that saying exists because like why are you giving me cake if I can't eat it? <laughs> but anyway, yeah. This is what this feels like. Okay. You also have Gemini, Aquarius showing up here and Lots and lots of Pisces all over. Okay. It's so crazy because on the other side of, and that's why I say this Ace of Cups, I mean, again, from my standpoint, from what the energy feels like, from what the cards are telling me, from my standpoint, it is so easy to choose that cup and then happiness is on the other side of it. It's so easy to listen to what you're being guided to do, say, or act on intuitively and, and bliss is literally on the other side of it. But there, but it feels risky, and 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 I mean that would be risky if you're already in a relationship, right? I don't know. All right, let's get an oracle. Let's get an oracle. There's like social pressure here. Okay, somebody feels pressured to go in a particular direction that they're not comfortable with. Or maybe you feel pressured intuitively to go in a direction that you're not comfortable with. Messages for a rabbit, service to the animal world. Bottom of the deck, you have uncertainty. Choose who you will become. Yeah, the pressure is real, Scorpio. The pressure is real. Like this choice means a lot. Okay, it means a lot. It's 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 going to significantly change the dynamics of um, your life. Okay, and so I get it why you're taking your time and trying to figure out should I do this thing because a part of you feel it. A part of you. Um, feels that it's wrong, okay? Uh, maybe wrong for wanting something or wrong for, for choosing what you've already chosen. I don't know, child, but I can see that you're struggling. Spirit is saying you need to deep dive into this Neptunian energy, all right, with this hangman, okay? Listen to... Um, be open to to various perspectives. Look at look at the situation from various angles. Trust your intuition. Express yourself emotionally. Okay, manage your emotions. Um, while you're while you are 
um, looking at this thing from various angles, okay? Be patient through this discomfort as well. That's a big part of it because although timing, again, like I said at the beginning of this, the universe has stepped in. This is this is divinely orchestrated. There's, there's nothing that you can do to change that it has happened or how it's even going to play out, okay? You have a decision to make, um, and, 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 but, but holding on to, um, something so tightly and not allowing things to flow as they should flow is only going to hold you back from what is meant to happen. Okay. Um, with divine. Okay. And just, just, just within your trajectory. All right. I'm going to leave it there guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you next time.